Hi Stampers, this is Dawn from DawnStampingThoughts.net and we're going to make this artichoke ornament and my daughter, she had texted me a picture of one that she's seen on Pinterest and she said, Mom, we need to make these. So this was my first one and we're going to make the silver one but we're just going to use this designer paper which is the Winter Frost. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let me show you the two bulbs. Now, depending on what size bulb, now this, I don't know the size. These are just what I had on hand, but I know you can buy them at your local craft store. And I'm going to use this size, and I believe this one uses about 50 punches, maybe 55. And then, of course, the bigger one, you'll need more punches. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one-inch circle punch, and you're going to punch 50 to 55 circles. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. We're going to take one of your circle punches. Now, when I researched this on Pinterest, I think they used a glue gun, and it was way too messy. So what we're going to use is the glue dots, and you're just going to take one of your circles, your one-inch circles, and you're just going to put one glue dot on the back. And you're going to do that to all of them, which, by the magic of television, I have them all ready to go. So you're just going to grab your ornament, and I and I really recommend doing it all before because it moves so much faster. So get all your glue dots on the back of your paper, your designer paper, and then grab your ornament. And the trick is you want to start at the bottom. So now the first one that you're going to add, I would recommend adding like three, total of three glue dots, because that's going to go at the very bottom. So you're going to work from the bottom up. So the first one, you're just going to kind of see that indentation there on the bulb. You're just going to put that right in the center. Okay. Then you're going to flip it over, and you're just going to start overlapping the circles. And this is going to give you the artichoke look. How easy is that? So then once you get your first row done, then you're just going to go up the next level and you're just going to kind of overlap it in between of the last previous circles. And you're just going to continue doing that all the way around. Okay, so now the closer you get to the top, you're just going to go as close as you can to that rim and start overlapping from there. Okay, so there's your artichoke ornament. Isn't that beautiful? And then for these, this one right here, I went ahead and used the silver, but you can use the hooks, or if you want to put them in a little bowl. So there's those two, and then the one that I made with just the designer paper. Okay, so that's how you do that. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye!